Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be doing a review for a new black metal release from 2020. This is a band from North Carolina, USA. Wolves Black with their newest release titled Sorgan. And this cassette tape was put out through Gems Label Productions. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to the person behind this band. I think he's going by the stage name of Olds Black, same as the band, who was nice enough to hook me up with a copy. Um, the Gems label, uh, they did a huge drop of a bunch of distro, new distro items like a week or two ago. And I had my alarm set to catch this tape release, but I got called into work last second. After I got off, this tape had sold out so fast, I had missed it. But Olds Black was awesome and nice enough to hook me up with a copy. So thank you so much. Let's get into the review. Let me just start off by saying this is some top notch, super impressive black metal. Before even listening to this, just by looking at the band name and the artwork, you can tell there's going to be a lot of Norwegian influence on here. Of course, the name of the band being taken from an over song and the artwork uh, is done by Theodore Kittelsen, who is a Norwegian artist um, and a lot of Norwegian bands had used his artwork in their releases. And this is two tracks of just blistering raw black metal that brings a lot of bands from Norway and even a lot of bands from Eastern Europe like Druk and Nocturnal Mortem to mind. And this is just done super well. There's a lot of elements of super, super abrasive black metal, but then there's times where um, it gets toned down with the folk and acoustic elements, which I think is really where this release shines. I mean, the first track off here could totally be something off of Ulver's third album. It's got a really great blend of just that blistering winter atmosphere that black metal has become notorious for, but also it, it just has some of the best acoustic and atmospheric sections in there. Um, you know, bands like uh, Satyricon's first album really comes to mind when listening to this. Uh, it's just got that vibe of uh, medieval and and acoustic gothic sections, which which really highlight the black metal parts. Well, you know, the acoustics and the folk side has been uh, intertwined with black metal since nearly the beginning. But this uh, and this this just does it great. Uh, it makes the abrasive sections better and the acoustic sections even better. A lot of times, um, especially bands from the States, when they try to capture that Western European folk sound in their black metal, sometimes it can sound forced, but in this, it does not whatsoever. This is flawless, and if I didn't know any better, this is something that came straight out of Europe. Because just, just the transitions and everything about um, this project, and this is one person playing all the instruments, which makes it even more impressive. It's, it's top-notch musicianship. There's nothing amateur or low-level about this release whatsoever, which I find super impressive. Another thing I really like about this release is um, it's pretty short. I think it's, I don't know if it's a demo or an EP or one of, the, one of those two, but it's two tracks. And each two, each song really showcases a different side of what this band can bring to the table. The first song is a lot more composition based, going between the abrasive style of black metal with really aggressive riffs, blast beats, super uh, you know abrasive vocals that just fit right in with the music and the atmosphere. And the second song features a more droney and um, a little bit of like a uh, slower paced style of black metal. Um, and these two go together really well because they highlight the differences that this style of black metal can bring to the table. The second song is something that reminds me of a song that would be off one of uh, the later Burzum albums before Varg went to jail. So, uh, Vis Le Set Taras and Philosophim. Sorry for the terrible pronunciation, but um, like that style of just really drony black metal that keeps looping over and over again. But what I really like about the second song is, although um, it's basically just like one riff and one chord progression kind of built up the whole time, it doesn't get boring at all. And it's a pretty long song, but just the way the drums move in and out of the beats 
and the way there's more space left or less space left really makes the song interesting to listen to. And that's another dangerous thing about playing this style of black metal. If it's not done right, it can be a bit boring and it can lose interest easily. But this does not whatsoever, which is why I think it's such a great release. Everything about it is just, it's like I said, it's top notch. Um, the vocals are really, really awesome. They're super abrasive and the production on them just, it's like nails on a chalkboard, but in the best way, the best style of abrasive vocals. And um, I think my favorite song on here would be the first song titled uh, Karen, Karen, something like that. And um, yeah, my, my, like I said, my favorite part about this release is the acoustics which is what I really look forward to seeing if um, this project ever does a full length album or a longer release, they can really, really build those acoustics and those folk sections to be super awesome. Because uh, right after like the first verse of the first song, there's this little acoustic breakdown, total early Satyricon vibes, but it's got a classical guitar playing like a, um, a little chord progression and then there's a, another classical guitar doing a solo over it and I think that is the highlight of this album. Everything about it is just absolutely awesome and um, I'm really glad I get to talk about some new black metal because I know pretty much everything I've done on this channel before has been death or death doom oriented so um, I, I've always listened to black metal I just don't talk about it as much and I want to and I'm really glad I had the opportunity to do that with this. I'm gonna rate this an 8.5 out of 10, and um, I highly recommend you check it out. The tapes are long gone. I don't know if there's gonna be a second press, but I also recommend you uh, check out Gems Labels, which is the label that put this out. Follow them in case they do a repress. I will leave a Bandcamp li link to um, the Olves Black Bandcamp it is Friday and it's a band camp day if you're watching today. So if you got an extra couple dollars, I'd recommend buying the digital album. And there is Olds Black picks available on the band camp, which uh, are super awesome. So like I said, definitely go check that out. Um, 8.5 out of 10. Huge thank you once again to Olds Black for hooking me up with the cassette tape. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely one of my favorite releases of 2020 so far some absolutely solid black metal in the vein of Norwegian and Russian slash Ukrainian black folk bands. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you later.